How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the HP Omen 16 laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 16 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands, or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place your laptop face down. Prepare a PH0 screwdriver and remove all 8 screws from the casing, 4 on the top and 4 on the bottom. When removing the case, use a plastic pry tool and start from the top. Align the pry tool with the casing gap and pry around the edges. Then gently lift up the back cover. This model has many clips, so please patiently and gently unclip to avoid snapping the clips. After the back cover is off, prepare a spudger to unplug the laptop's power cable. Use two spudgers to pinch the plug from both sides and pull it downwards. After unplugging the power, press the power button to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Start by removing the four screws on two sides of the heatsink. Then, loosen and remove the seven screws from the middle of the heatsink. When removing screws, choose a high-quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo 01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane. Apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Gently lift the heat pipes and remove the entire cooling module. Next, remove the left fan by removing the two screws and disconnecting the cable. Repeat the process for the fan on the right. Note that the screws on the left are different, so make sure to keep them separate. Use a magnetic mat to sort and place the screws to avoid confusion or losing them. To more efficiently clean the old thermal paste, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Thermal putty is used for cooling the components around the CPU and GPU since these chips generate less heat. If you decide to replace the thermal putty with thermal paste, we recommend buying the 2.1ml large size Cooling Monster Cold 01 Thermal Paste and the separately packaged Clean 01 Cleaning Wipes just in case the cleaning wipes run out. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use an anti-static brush to remove dust from the surface and the fan blades. You can also use compressed air, just make sure to maintain a little distance to avoid spraying out liquid. Then clean the heatsink, focus on the fins where dust may have accumulated. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. Make sure the thermal paste can completely cover the surface of the chips after applying. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Follow the same steps in reverse to reinstall the fans and heatsink. Start with the two screws for the left fan and connect the power cable. Then the right fan. Two screws, and cable. When installing the heatsink, align it with the holes before gently laying it down. Do not use brute force. Next, install the seven screws in the middle of the heatsink. These are spring screws, so you can slightly push down and screw in halfway first. After all are in place, tighten them to avoid uneven pressure. Then screw back the four screws on the two sides of the cooling module. Lastly, use the spudger to plug back the power cable.
Now, turn on your laptop to check if everything's working. Please note that the first boot may take a bit longer. If everything's alright, shut down and screw the back cover back on. And then the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.